India Alliance at war over Sukhpal Khera's arrest. Congress trains guns at the Aam Aadmi Party, calls it abuse of power. Congress says Khera's arrest is proof of abuse of power and vengeance. The entire Congress family, the party says, stands with Sukhpal Khera against this petty conspiracy to suppress his loud voice against injustice. We are not ready to bow down, not ready to stop. We will fight and win. So it's war of words now between the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party in Punjab after the arrest of Congress MLA Sukhpal Khera in an old drugs case. My colleague Kamalji Sandhu is now joining me live. I believe she has Sukhpal Khera's son with her. Over to you, Kamalji. Kamaljeet, if you are able to hear me, I believe you have Mr. Sukhpal Khera's son with you. It's over to you. Well, this is a massive showdown between the Punjab Congress as well as the Aam Aadmi Party with the arrest of senior Congress leader Sukhpal Khera early this morning. Mehtab Khera, his son, is with us. Uh, let's just talk to him. Uh, so what really happened early this morning? This case is way back old, March 2015. That's what we've been told in NDP's case. We've been told nine people were arrested in the connection and through the SIT investigation, his name had cropped up. Now, there has been some sort of litigation going on in the court, but do tell us, was this an expected move? Because he's been very, very critical of the Aam Aadmi Party government. It was expected in the sense that we knew that the government was trying to implicate us in a false case. It, we, we didn't know it was this specific case. This case was registered in 2015, uh, in March 2015, against 10 persons, like, like you said. My father was not named in the FIR. My father was not named in the charge sheet. He was summoned under Section 319 in 2017, when all the accused were sentenced and convicted, convicted and sentenced. The trial court, court summoned us. So at, at, uh, in 2017, the police had all the evidence that they say now, they had back then. They say that it is Gurdev Singh who has given a statement that Sukhpal Singh Khera and I were in cahoots and we, he had said he would protect me. That's the allegation against my father, that he would protect. How he would protect is unclear because my father is never, has never been in the government. My father is not in the police. My father was not even an MLA in 2015. How a, how a simple, normal man can save someone from an NDPS case is, uh, is beyond my understanding. But there was also the ED case uh, where there was allegation of money laundering. And this arrest was also made in connection with the same case. Correct. So the PMLA is an act, is a Prevention of Money Laundering Act. PMLA, under the PMLA, ED could not have arrested us themselves. They needed a scheduled offense. They have, the PMLA Act has a schedule in which there's given uh, offenses which are scheduled offenses. If there is a scheduled offense against you, you can be raided and investigated by the ED. Now you say there were transactions, there, were, there was no transaction. There, the ED, I have the copy of the complaint. If you go through the complaint, the, the allegation is not that Gurdev Singh sent five rupees or 10 rupees or X amount of money. He, he never sent us any money. We do not own any joint property with him. There is no transaction between Gurdev Singh and Sukhpal Singh Khera. They said that the difference that they, they took out the income tax returns for the past 10 years and they took out the, uh, uh, the bank deposits. The difference between the two was termed as money laundering. Uh, but you're talking as, as saying that these are mere allegations. Why are you calling this vendetta? We saw the Facebook live where Sukhpal Khera had gone and said that this is vendetta. That's what Raja Wadding has been saying. This is what Pratap Singh Bajwa has been saying. Why do you call it a vendetta? Ma'am, I don't, I don't know how, uh, how much people in Delhi or wherever your national uh, this interview goes. But if you ask people of Punjab who Sukhpal Singh Khera is, they will tell you he's a, he's a vocal critic of the government. Whenever there is anything that the government does, even if it's illegal mining, recently, I don't know if you know, an AAP MLA tried to illegally take possession of an NRI's house. Sukhpal Singh Khera fought against that. Uh, Raghav Chadda, on the one hand, says that I earn, or my, uh, in his income tax, he says I earn about two, two and a half lakh rupees a year. And on the other hand, he gives a uh, 25 lakh rupee worth uh, 
ring to his wife, which is fine, he might, but he should not have double standards and call themselves Aam Aadmi. He was raising pertinent issues because of which this particular action has taken place. That's what Methab Kera is alleging, but it just seems that the Congress is up in arms, especially at a time we're talking about the India Alliance, where these two parties are forging ahead along with 26 other parties to ensure that they are a pertinent opposition against the Modi government. But in Punjab, things are going haywire. They're not only at each other's throat, they are also going against each other and seeing the sort of crackdown. But remember, this is the 2015 case and in which the action has been taken. And now the Congress seems to be crying foul over this allegation, uh, saying this is a vendetta by the Bhagwan Man government. Now, from the government side, there is an expected reaction coming at around 12 o'clock when they address a press conference. But clearly, Congress not too happy. We've seen earlier, whether we're talking about other particular leaders, uh, there have been other leaders, Bharat Bhushan, Ashu, uh, then we have uh, the other leaders, including Manpreet Badal, who is now right. part of uh, now part of the BJP. Uh, okay, so the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress there at loggerheads in Punjab. Kamalji, they're bringing us that exclusive interaction with Sukhpal Khera's son, Mehtab Khera. Thank you so much for joining us uh, with those details, uh, Kamalji.